good afternoon well it's a bit chilly anyway today um, I'm back on my Jeep Cherokee and if you recall I had issues with the uh, let's say loss of power from the battery that is and uh, if you looked at my short video you know I've been sent this top on TB6000 Pro and it's an intelligent charger and you can use it via an app or you could use a stand fan. It's not plugged in at the moment. I have looked at this with another battery. I wasn't intending to do this on the Jeep. I'm going to do another video, but anyway. You can connect this stand alone if you just bear with me a moment. Like I say, it's not plugged in. So it's going to work like a regular battery checker, which you've seen before in other videos, but uh, Let's have a look at this. And it's saying it's got 9 to 10 volts. You see it's flashing here because it's looking for the Bluetooth. Uh, so I shall uh, plug it in and show you a bit more and then we'll go through the app. Okay, I've got it all plugged in now. So if you just using it as a standalone, I think you press it twice. Yeah, it says norm. Scan through. Ah, oh, that's it. Right, 90%. It's running through the menu, set normal. Should go to charge. That's it, it's gone into charge now. It's still flashing the Bluetooth. So uh, that's how you get it to charge up in the standalone mode. Basically you turn it on and press it twice and it automatically goes into it. But if you use the app, and this is the Android app, but it also does it for Apple as well. So let's press it. And you can see it says smart charging. Now you can monitor it from your phone. So it's saying it's charging which it is but you, but you can do quick charging and you can test the battery I don't know if it'll change over yeah so let's try quick charging confirm it'll stop the previous one right you've got to tell it what it is 12 volt normal and it's going to look at it right it knows it's 25 percent doesn't know how long it's going to take to charge it's working it out give it a chance to do its thing Right, it's doing it now. You see it's setting to a steady rate. If you look on here, the Bluetooth's not flashing anymore because it's connected. It says 25% on there, which matches what it says on here. So I'm gonna stop that. Yep, look at other options. We've got uh, testing options. Let's do a battery test. It's regular flooded, it's an EN. Oh, this is not a six way, this is a CCA. So it's got to change this. CCA, 770. 770 next the battery voltage is lower than 8 so we need to recharge it up anyway that's what that does so let's just go to smart charging oh hang on no let's not somewhere there was a fix 
Ah, 12 volt repair. Let's try that. This is going to try and get it back online. It's testing the battery. You can hear it clicking away. In this mode, it's going to try and fix the battery a bit. Phone doesn't stay lit up. So view report, and what that says is where we're at at the beginning, which obviously is poor. And then when it's finished charging, it'll give you another report. But it says battery life is zero here. So I'm going to leave it and uh, see where we go after it's finished. Uh, the charge has been on for about 15 minutes. You can see it still says 25%. And it's only got 5.89 volts. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with this battery because it's not very old. But this is on the fix it mode, if you like, the repair mode. Uh, so we'll leave it until it finishes. I don't know how long it's going to be. It doesn't say. I mean, it knows what the battery is and everything. It knows everything, but uh, obviously, it's going to take a while to get that up. This is one hour fifteen minutes, and we've got sixty-five percent charging at two point four amps, and it's showing thirteen point one volts. So. It's getting a bit dark, it's very cold. I'll look back tomorrow, I'm going to leave it on overnight and see what it's like. Anyway, it's charging up fine. Okay, this is more than 24 hours later. And I've had this Jeep battery charging up. And it's got 12.7 volts, but it's only 90%. And it's not a very old battery. I bought it in 25th 7th. So I'm going to turn it off and then put the app on and see what we can see. Okay, it's not connected. I've disconnected the power. So let's see if I put the put it on the battery. So it's only connected. Oh right, so now it says Bluetooth is connected. plug's not connected so it knows it's a clever app it knows it's not power not turned on which it's not and it's got smart charging like I said before quick charging and testing options let's do testing options quick battery test see what the state of this is well, it's got all the details on it from before Okay, it says the battery needs to be replaced, which is very annoying because it's not very old. It says state of charge 100%, battery voltage 12, but uh, it's saying there, red. On the actual display, it's got 12.8. It knows what it is. Oh, yeah. Another thing you do is cranking test, but we're not going to bother. We've done testing before. That basically, it will see if the car is charging up. But I want to test it with regards to its capabilities. So we've done looked at the testing mode. And it's got a quick charging mode in which it knows what it is again. And this is what I did before, 12 volt repair. Just 12 volt supply, 12 volt small, 12 volt lithium. So we'll leave it on normal. And uh, I'm gonna plug it in, I guess. So plug it in. Okay. It knows it's plugged in. 
So let's go to start charging. And it's away. Note on there, it says 35%. Off she goes. So it's saying 35% on there as well. And that's it, you leave it to do its thing. <sighs> well, not too optimistic about my battery because it was on all yesterday afternoon and all night. Um, the good thing about this charger is it's smart, it's intelligent, so you can leave this connected sort of forever. Um, my normal battery charger. Error. What's that? Uh, my phone. The phone is disconnected. Anyway, this charger, obviously you can leave it on. But, uh, and I just keep saying bad battery. Bad battery. I don't believe it. I mean, I've got to buy a battery. Never mind. That's the testing of this. What does error for? Yeah, unlike the other charger, you can leave this one on because it's uh, do trickle charging. It basically, it goes, the amperage goes lower and lower and it only gives it what it needs. You can see it's saying 12.6. So. Oh dear, and it's got quick charging. What's quick charging got? That's uh, normal. I think we just did that. Let's do that again, just see what happens. And it says it's fully charged. That's why it's gone to error. It can't do it because it's fully charged. All right, let's go to smart charging then. Oh dear. It won't because it's fully charged. Okay, let's look at something else. All right, that was really annoying. Uh, the app didn't recognize me anymore and uh, didn't recognize my registration, even though I've registered. So I've had to re register, and now it's connected again. And what I was going to show is if you remember on my top down battery tester test. I've got these two batteries that have been removed from it because in fact this one here was the one that was in the Jeep that we've just been looking at and uh, I've plugged it in and you can see it says it's 6.3 volts so let's see what we can do with smart charging on the app. Uh, okay, wants to know what it is of course. CCA 770, but it isn't, it's an EN. So we need to change it. EN. And was it 760? It's very cold. Right, it's doing a pre test. start charging. Let's see if it can uh, recover this battery because originally when I tested it with my battery tester, top down battery tester, it said that it was duff. Trouble is the new one's duff as well. It's still saying 6.1. Okay, start charging. In pre testing, I don't know what the pre testing is, and for some reason, ah, maybe it's, I've got the wrong thing on there. EN, so it's an EN 760. Okay, now it matches. Let's see what it says now. 
Okay. This time it's accepted it because I got the wrong information. I was... And it says error four. And bad battery. So it's not going to, but it's got a feature on here, which is supposed to be 12 volt repair. Nope, it's not having it. The battery may be damaged. So it's pretty clever. Okay, so this battery's a no hoper. What about this one? Right, I've just plugged it in. It says 3.4 volts, which is even worse. But what will this do? Let's go, it says it, it says green. Let's do a quick test. Did I say it was cold? Because it is. Right, what is this one? Before I mess it up, 550EN. Right, it's already on the end, idiot. Right, 550. Okay. Voltage is lower than eight. You have to charge it first, so will it charge? Oh gosh, let's go quick charge. See if it will. Says it's fully charged, that's a lie. Uh, but again, it's saying bad battery. Error four, it can't do it. So there you go. This new uh, charger is very good, and the app's very good, but if your battery's dead, it's dead. Whew, because it's so cold, I've gone back in the house, and I've got a couple of batteries here. This one, I haven't plugged in the device, so it's getting the prove it, there's the plug, and also if you look on the app, plug is not connected so it's very clever. This one's got 12.5 volts already, so let's do a, let's do a test, battery test, and it is CCA 540. 540. And it did its thing. Bit of glare from the light. Let me turn the light off. Right, it's doing its testing. It should say it's really good because this is the one I bought for my Mustang, but it was too tall. And on there it's saying it's 12 volt normal. It's been taking a while to test it. Must be plugged in. Hold on. Let me stop. Okay. So the difference with the other one before it was all showing red. Uh, this is green. It says it's 100% charged. And there you go. So obviously, I had to plug the device in. I'm very sorry. There it is. It's 100% healthy, 100% state of charge, and so on. Uh, I've got another one here, which is turn it around so I can read it. Uh, what is it? 640EN. Let's have a go do a test on this one. Right, I put it on this one, but obviously I haven't just retested it. So this one's an EN 640. 
this time lamp is in red, this is the battery needs to be replaced. And its state of health is 70%, but the charge is 100%. So that's interesting. But of course we could charge it up. Again, smart charging or quick charging. Let's see if it'll smart charge. 12 volt normal. What am I missing? Oh, it's got a timer on it. You can set it for when you want to do it. I don't want to do that. Manual load. No, it's not going to for some reason. What about quick charge? Repair. Plug not connected. Let me have a look. Okay, for some reason or other it said it wasn't plugged in, but it is. So I put it on smart charging. It's doing a pre-test. Okay, it's working. I think we'll display it there, 35%. And this is in its intelligent mode. And what it will do is it, it will give it whatever power it needs to get it up to charge. Obviously, it's already told me that it's not a fantastic battery, which I already know. But it will charge up itself. And you can leave it like this and you see it's telling you what amps it's giving out 1.3 giving you the percentage it's giving out 13 volts it's now at 50 percent which is very quick it's up from 36. so i will all right i'll have a look at it in like 15 minutes and see and show you my watch so you see it's 4 p.m. Let's come back at 4.30 and have a look. Well, change of plans. It's only been five minutes and I just have to walk by. And it's done a report. And it says this column here is before it was charged. Which is it was 71%. And this is after and it's still at 71%. Obviously it hasn't done magic. And if you look at the display, it's at 90% according to that. But the battery, I mean, it might be 90% charge, 90% capacity. And uh, it's fully charged as far as the app is concerned because it's given the after report. Clearly say, before charged, after charged. Now it's jumped up to 100% charged. I think it because it's a smart thing, it keeps changing because obviously this battery's not 100%, like I say, 71%. It does what's necessary. Now it's giving it no amps and it's showing it's at 13 volts and 100% charge. And this is what it would look like if you keep it connected. All it's going to do is keep it at 100% as much as it can. I think that's a successful test. It's given you all the information about the various options that are available. Um, the fact that it's intelligent is clever because normally you have to buy these special chargers that you can leave them plugged in, you know, these uh, trickle chargers. But this does it all. So it can actually test your battery and tell you whether or not it's able to do anything with it um, if it's a good one but low it's got the fixed mode or the repair as it calls it um, if it's too far gone like in the case of two of mine with the red things there's nothing it can do you, you just have to replace it I say it's not magic but uh, all in all I think it's a really good device and uh, I'm going to use it 
more and uh, I think uh, I would highly recommend it. There will be a link to Amazon where you can buy this but uh, I'll tell you it's like 90 pounds and it's like because it's two in one so it's a battery charger and a battery tester uh, I think it's pretty good value. It's better than buying a charger and the tester when this tool will do everything all in one. So I hope you find that useful. If you did, please consider subscribing, like and share and uh, watch out for future videos. Bye bye for now.